Hello and welcome to this week's newsletter, still on the 16T at Augusta. Not long to go now. Remember we have our sweepstake up and running, five pound a square. If your player, uh, if your player wins, you win 120 pound onto your pro shop account. We've also got the nearest to pin competition. And at the moment we've got John Paul, who is leading six foot four inches. So completely gettable that you can get it inside that. Come and have some fun in the simulator. Back to Augusta in a bit. But uh, what about the Players' Championship? Did you watch it? Oh wow, Scotty Scheffler. Oh my goodness, how good is he? He won at Bay Hill the previous week by five shots, putted really well. And everybody's been saying that if Scotty Scheffler putts well, oh my word, he is gonna dominate golf. And it is proving to be, because he didn't win by five shots at the Players, but he did only win by one shot, but that was with a dodgy back and not putting it as well as he did the previous week but loads better than he has done in the previous couple of years. So Scotty Scheffler, that's back-to-back -back wins on the PGA Tour and back-to-back -back Players' Championship wins. He's the first player to do that in 50 years. My word, he is red-hot favourite to win at Augusta, especially if he keeps putting the way he does. His footwork is incredible. He dances all over the place, but my word, does he time it beautifully every single time. He hasn't got a bad shot in him. He is phenomenal. Well, number one by an absolute mile now. Scotty Scheffler beat Wyndham Clark by a shot. Wyndham Clark had a putt on the last to tie. And the US Open champion hit a great putt, but it just big horseshoe lip out, didn't it? It just missed. Very unlucky that. But yeah, Wyndham Clark came second along with Brian Harmon. The Open champion, it was a great tournament with those major champions up in contention. Right, now quickly on to Goulston Golf Club news. And first of all, we better congratulate Ben Warnoff, who won the full Hardy Trophy, which is the winter midweek state foot aggregate over the last few months. He won with a total of 188 points, beating Ross Elliott on count back. Well done to you two gentlemen. Great golf that, Ben Warnoff and Ross Elliott shows your consistency over the winter months. Um, the midweek final now starts this uh, Thursday, and then we're into the summer midweek state foods, aren't we? Okay, so well done, Ben. Great stuff, that, and well done, Ross. So let's look at the competition results from last week. Let's go to the last Wednesday's ladies' competition, the divisional medal, where Pauline Phillips won with Division 1 with a net 74. Well done, Pauline. Linda Atkins won Division 2 with a net 77, and Emma Punter won Division 3 with a net 77. Well done. Uh, on Thursday, we had the final round of the mid the midweek Stokeford, where Glenn Jeremy won Division 1 with 38 points, beating Max Elliott into second on 37. In Division 2, Andy Pod won with a great 42 points. Well done, Andy. He beat Ross Elliott, who came second overall, and Keith Newbury into second and third, respectively, both on 40 points. And in Division 3... David Easter won with 41 points, beating Dave Wooden into second with 38 points. As the weather is improving, the scores are improving. What a long winter it's been. On to uh, Sunday now, we have mixed March Stapeford, where Michael Pyrewell won with a great 41 points, beating Paul Farrow into second with 40 points. In Division 2, Tom Gardner won with 40 points, beating Mackenzie Lodge into second with 39 points. And in Division 3, Max Evans won with 37 points, beating Marie Norman, Nick Berzer and Tracy Booth into second, third and fourth respectively, all on countback. Right, OK, let's now move on to Augusta National and the last hole in my match against Ollie. So after two solid pars on 17, we are on the 18th hole, 442 yards, but plays 18, 19 yards uphill. So plays quite long. I don't think those bunkers on the left-hand side that Ian Woosen knocked it over in 1991 are in play for me or Ollie. But it's a long par four. Ollie's got a four-shot lead. It's a bit of a foregone conclusion, but you never know at Augusta. So yeah, 18. I think this hole's underestimated. This is tough. It's a narrow tee shot. Right up the hill towards the green. You can walk up here before we get to be. Side. Left, I think that's probably a good place to be. 
Happy that. Just on the fairway? Yeah, good strike, Holly. Well done. Fairways have been pretty good. Holly needs a bird. Needs to shoot on the par around Augusta. Didn't see that coming. Down the left, though. There we go. Fairway found. Second shot. One nine one. Fourteen yards up the hill. Two iron. I mean, this is just. I think this is the biggest thing that me and Ollie realised from Augusta. It's just how long it is, and we're not playing off the blacks. We're playing off the blues. Seven thousand three hundred yards. I mean, those guys. They just hit it so far. They don't hit two irons in there very often. Maybe five irons occasionally. Oh, that's a poor strike again. Uh, left it entirely the spot where he chipped up to in 19. Safely done though. Yeah, like Duncan said. Probably play about 200 yards for me. 200 yards. I'm going to go four. Yeah, I think it's all of that. Four. Well hit four. Come. Loved it. Very good. Oh yes, Ollie. Wow. Take that. Excellent shot, Ollie. Last two holes have been awesome. In fact, last three holes. In fact, last four holes have been very good, mate. Well played. Right, okay, so what have I got here to finish in a, a little bit of style? Need a bit of a 19-yard chip. Two foot down the hill on the right. Let's have a bit of a Rory McIlroy moment, although he holds it from the bunker. Let's see if I can hold him off the green. 19 yards. Two foot down the hill. Oh, that has been the story of my back nine. Millimeters short again for being a gimme. How many times has that happened? I'm not going to be able to say this many more times in my life, but a good chance to go under. Thank you, Augusta. <laughs> Just outside right, 22 feet. Come on. They all hold it from here, don't they, when they win the Masters? They all hold it. They all hold it. Schwarzel, Nicholson. Pushed it. Oh, Pushed it. Pushed it before. That is a solid round of 72 round Augusta though, Ollie. Right, what have I got here? Just to finish in a bit of glory. 10 foot, pretty straight. Four inches short being a gimme. That's been the story by back nine. Some poor swings, but a bit of rubbish luck as well. Oh, well, managed to salvage the round anyway. Well played, Ollie. Well done. Well done. Ollie wins by four shots. Um, but yeah, Augusta, great fun on there. But maybe play it off a bit more of a forward tee. 7,300 yards is ridiculously long. I mean, I don't know how they shoot under par around there. So there we have it. Wow, a disappointing back nine from myself. Uh, I'm not the first to have a poor back nine at Augusta, and I certainly won't be the last. What a good fun it was too. Me and Ollie love playing on the simulator in here. And Augusta is our personal favorite for obvious reasons, but we've got so many golf courses on there now. So if you ever want to come and use a simulator, we've now got a new mat. You can't see it actually on the camera angle. We've got a nice big new mat. 
uh, a new projector so we get a beautiful image on the screen there as well so if you ever if the weather is poor or you fancy a bit of practice on the simulator come and speak to us in the shop generally it's pretty empty saturday afternoons i'm outside with the juniors coaching up on the practice ground sunday afternoon it's not generally used either along with mondays it's not generally used either is busy you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for me and Ollie doing our lessons and club fittings. But please make sure that you come and enjoy a brilliant, fun bit of game at Augusta National and all the other golf, golf courses we've got, including Pebble Beach and you name it, we've got them. And Sawgrass, we've got Sawgrass on there as well. Come and have a bit of fun on there. Right, okay, so that was, yes, yes, Ollie did beat me. Uh, yeah, mm, disappointingly, uh, but I did play very well on the back nine. Lack of practice, but now I have done a bit more practice, I am playing better. We hope to get out there and do our 18 hole on the golf course at Galston again when I get back from America. I've got a family trip to the States coming up where I actually try and hope to play Pebble Beach, fingers crossed. I've got to go into a 24-hour ballot, but let's see if I can play there. I'll send you some photos and video if I do. Right, okay, so Ollie will be in charge along with Jack over the next couple of weeks or so. So that's it from me. Thanks very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.